I devised a plan to fix all my problems and make a little bit of money. Let's all get famous as quickly as possible. Operation Lag for Quap. Congratulations for listening to this week's episode of Now We're Talking. I want to thank my guests, Ricky Montgomery and Caleb Hurst, both of whom you can see in Ricky's new YouTube vlog series. I'm going to put a link to that in the description for this episode. It's one of the funniest things I've seen on the internet. I really recommend you check that out. What's up? So basically, we had this plan, Life of Quap, and it, it worked better than we ever could have guessed, and that's exactly the problem. I didn't know what fame was like until now, man, and like, honestly, it scares the shit out of me. I'm not ready for like ex-girlfriends coming out of the woodwork trying to like say I knocked him up. I don't want long lost third cousins trying to get me to like sponsor their fucking baseball team or something. I'm gonna get stalkers. I'm gonna get stalkers, Andrew. Think they're watching now? They're probably watching me right now. Oh, fuck. Come on. God damn it. They're gonna fucking find me, man. Fuck. The door is open? Don't ask towel. God damn it. I mean, they're gonna find me. The fans, the paparazzi, the drugs, the business proposals. It's just gonna, it's, they're gonna flood in, man. <sighs> the girls, I got a girlfriend, I can't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be loyal, but it's gonna be hard with all that temptation. <laughs> Cut that line <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. I'm never gonna have my privacy back for at least f 50 years. Now that I'm in the throes of it, you know, I just want to have a normal life again and not have to deal with all this. They're already here, man. And that's the fans? <laughs> well, they're not going to get me in here. I'm never coming back out. <coughs> Fuck. Now I got a cough. I don't have any medicine. Then just go out and get some medicine. What are you talking about? Right now? You want me to go outside? and get fucking mobbed by the fucking fans and the press. I'm gonna cause a riot. If you just go to Walgreens or CBS, just real quick, it's not gonna be a problem. They're definitely gonna recognize me there. All right, I need the, I need the medicine or I'm gonna die. So let's just, I guess let's, let's go to Target. <laughs> I get the ones with the ankles? See, I, want, I like these. What do you think of these? You wanna hold these? Sure. Here's the medicine. Yeah, They're talking about me? Let's get the fuck out of here. There's way too many people in that aisle. We gotta wait this out, we gotta wait till they're, they're, they're not in that aisle anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck. He 
don't think that's for you. Do you not? I can't see a fucking thing. One day your life's normal and the next you're a fucking celebrity and like everyone's trying to get your goddamn picture. How many people have asked for your picture? I mean, none yet, but come on, man. Like, that's because I've been good at dodging. Fuck. You see, just... that guy was looking right at me, dude. No fucking photos, man! Fuck. I gotta pull over, dude. I gotta, I gotta get out of the car. I'm gonna have a fucking anxiety attack if I stay in this fucking car. I gotta quit, man. What, vlogging? Yeah, man. I've done enough damage, you know. I just gotta stop now, you know, before it gets worse. I can't even go out in public anymore unless it's like raining and dark out. All right, what am, what am I supposed to do? Go get a job or something. Come You'll be on. fine. Hold on. Just... Why are you gonna? What's that? Hello. Hi, I'm calling for Ricky Montgomery. My name is Finny, and I'm nine years old. I just want to. How say... did you get this number? I just want to say that I love your vlogs. And they inspire me every day. I'm proud of you for following your dreams and changing people's lives all over the world. But I kind of wish that you posted more often. You're my hero. Bye, Ricky. Thanks for your call. <laughs> what was that? What was that? That was just some kid. That was his hero. <laughs> <laughs> he just randomly called you? Yeah. Just wanted to tell me that he was proud of me. And that I inspired him. Really? Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, now that I'm thinking back, I looked up to a lot of people, you know? Vloggers, like... <laughs> like David Dobrik. <laughs> like David Dobrik. You looked up to David Dobrik when you were a kid. Gabby show. Real. Yeah, Carly and Aaron. Like <laughs> when you were a kid. Those are the people that I idolized. And I felt inspired by that. And that got me through a lot, you know? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> when my dad died, you know. Watching those guys open up their mail every day, that really <laughs> I'm getting kind of choked up talking about it. But that just, you know, I don't know what where I would have gotten without watching David Dobrik drive around his Tesla, you know. It's a self-driving car. When I was a kid, that blew my mind, you know. So I gotta keep going. And not for myself, of course, but for the kids. For all those kids out there with no parents, no jobs, no food. They need someone to look up to. I guess I've been selfish. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna use this fame for good, you know. For the kids. It's the end of the vlog. Well, we still have to do the comments, but for anyone that doesn't want to see the comments, get out. Get man. out. Get the fuck out of here. Who needs ya? This is for the real fans. Okay. You ready? Yeah. We're ready. Last week I asked you to ask answer a question. And the question was, tell me one of your friends' darkest secrets. And you guys came at me with some real dark stuff, some real edgy stuff, a lot of things that I didn't really think were true. And here are four that... What? Well, what... Yeah, why, I well, can. The first question, or first answer, what is... Martha Roble says, My friend stole cigarettes from his mom because he was stressed. It's a small reason to steal cigarettes, but, you know, tell him to stop. Bad for his health, and uh, this makes him smell bad. Or her. Next answer. Next answer is a gang studios. A gang studios. My friend one time lost power one time and couldn't turn the light on. That's not even really a secret, that's just kind of a thing that happens to everybody whenever there's a power outage. The next answer is from Kierkson. K-Y-R-X-N. My best friend has eaten ass. Guy ass. 
I mean, that's... I guess that's, there's nothing really wrong with that if, it, if they're both consenting to the, to the eating. And, yeah, I mean, you know, I guess that's the end of this. Next week, comment one of your deepest, most personal fears that affect you on a daily basis, that drive your life in the direction that it's going. Please, that's the what's what I want you guys to comment below. No jokes. No jokes. <laughs>